Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy The Wolf here bringing you guys another video today. New video on Crypto Hopper. The app is finally out. I did not know this, but I got it. Uh, it's been a while since I actually used Crypto Hopper, but I did turn it on yesterday. Uh, so basically, here, this is kind of the dashboard. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to do all the features and have the capabilities that you would um, log it onto the desktop version. But this is definitely a big help uh, when it comes to, you know, basically managing your trades on the go. Uh, as you see here where it says profit, you can kind of set which one and sort, you know, what you want to see as far as the positions that you have and, and stuff like that. Uh, as you scroll over here, you come to the history. As you can see, I'm following all signals. So these are some of the signals that I've gotten so far. Um, not too many. Um basically two greens one red um, not too bad like I said just put it back on yesterday and then you come here to stats uh, you can look at you know kind of the dashboard analytics um, of everything that's based on uh, that you currently have right now and I would say you know the interface is pretty friendly pretty nice um, everything's pretty clear and concise as you can see um, you see which one my most traded coins are average profit per coin, average holding time. So again, like I said, some of the stuff that you see on the app is pretty familiar, uh, which you're you know accustomed to seeing on the desktop version logging in. And as you can see, come down here, go to the output. Um, same thing that you would normally see on the desktop, obviously, um, except now that you can see it more. Uh, I would say more condensed um, and then you can look over here to your signaler and see which signals that you've gotten or came in lately or, or attempted and then obviously you come here to more to change your hopper now it comes to your configuration you can still do all that um, but as far as um, I think figuring your signals I'm not for sure if you can do that from the app I don't think you can so that is something that you do still have to go onto the desktop version and do I'm hoping in the next version that's something that they'll add uh, as you can see you know like I said it's very simple you can come here change your hoppers uh, but like I said it's very new at least for me at least I'm not sure how long the app has been out for but again real easy to use if you've been using crypto hopper if you've seen some of my you know other crypto hopper videos this app is going to become crucial because there's been times where i've wanted to you know make those necessary changes instead of having to log in <clears throat> and potentially missing out on something now i can just come to the app uh, i can do things more quicker more efficiently so again i'm glad that they finally released their app um, but like I said, hopefully in the future releases, we'll have some more features, um, especially when it comes to configuring your signals and people that you follow. Um, having that as an option in the app is something that you definitely got to see. But so far, like I said, it's pretty easy. You can still, you know, manually buy coins. You still got most of your analytics that you can see. Um, there's some analytics and some stats obviously that are not on the app quite yet but i'm pretty sure like i said they'll probably as they update it we'll have some more stuff to look at so that's gonna really wrap it up as far as the crypto hopper app goes and if you guys haven't seen my other crypto hopper videos make sure you guys go check those out um i have a playlist of just different hopper videos and i'm gonna be actually trying to create more hoppers uh, especially on different exchanges uh, so hopefully my next exchange that I'll be able to do will be Bitfinex. But again, that's going to wrap it up for this little video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give a thumbs up, share with your friends. And um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And um, until next time, take care, y'all.